Hi guys, I'm Scott. Thanks for tuning in. We are up here in the Cahutta Wilderness. Going to do the, I guess it's pronounced uh, Sumac uh, Creek Trail. It's about a 10.8 mile loop and we do have two water crossings and right now it is 10 degrees. <laughs> so uh, here's some information. I can't even hardly read through that, but yeah. And by we, I mean Roach, Josh Sanders, and Swag. What's up? <laughs> That's actually Swag from Couch to Trail. So uh, y'all check out their channels too, because uh, Josh will be filming, I guess, and Swag will. But Roach, he he doesn't film. So, but you see him in a lot of Jack's drink water videos. The eye candy. There you go. <laughs> well, my head's starting to sweat in 10 degree weather, so I guess that's why they call me sailing. I'm trying to catch up, keep up with Josh. He, he hikes fast. We're doing it though. He's waiting up on me. A few people on YouTube that are trying to change my name to something else, but it's too late because. Roach already gave me the name Saline. Saline! <laughs> and once you got a name, people can't just go in and change it. You gotta beat them to the punch. So, Saline it is. And I guess I'm living up to it on this trail too. I'm gonna have to shed some stuff in a minute. Uh, here's our creek crossing. We're trying to find a way not to have to wade through this. Yeah, we could probably hop across those rocks right there. We may not even need her crocs. Oh, he made it. Let's hope the rest of us do. I made it across, now Josh has got to make it. Uh, so we got away without having to wade through the water on this one. I don't know how the next one will be. We'll have to wait till we get about three or four more miles and see. Oh, he even stepped on the ice. You scared me on that one. <laughs> Subway. He's got sneakers. I have a turd. <laughs> He's got a turd. <laughs> what is that? Power bar? Or? Cliff bar. What? Cliff bar. Cliff bar. Those Power are good bar. though. Okay. But, uh, I'm just going to look around. I mean, we're going to try to find a way across this one. 
without having to get in that water because it's going to be a little bit dangerous, I think. Huh. That's the crossing right there. There's a trail right over there. There's a few rocks. I wonder if we could get a, jump across here and then get across over there somewhere. A little section here. So the trail's right here. We're walking on down this way to see if we can't find a way across because it's head it's gonna hurt <laughs> if we have to step in the water. And there may be a spot on down through here to, where we can just go ahead and cross. Looks like there may be. Is there? No? We're gonna have to wait it. I believe I'd rather wait it right here though than over there. Guys, we gotta walk through right here. There's no way around it. We gotta get to it. We gotta hurry up. As soon as we get back out, we gotta hurry up and go. Geographic presents homeless people of the Gahota wilderness. Here we have a homeless guy attempting to cross. He said cross. he was going to wait for you to cross it, Scott, and then say, Oh, I forgot to hit the cord. So be prepared to go across it a second time. Well, now they want to change my name to Double Bagger. My crocs are wet though. Wasn't too bad. Drive my feet off. Guys, we had ice water creek crossing and look, I'm already sweating again. That's why they call me sailing. Check out this view. Let me explain what's going on. <laughs> John is heading back out to the car. He's, he spent the night last night and he did the hike with us today and now he's uh, going on back to the car so he can get home to be with his family tomorrow and go to church. So the three of us are going to go ahead and hike on down toward where the next stream is and camp out somewhere near there. Well we were going to camp down in this area. There's just too much deadfall here so we're hiking back up toward the car. We filled it with water. I guess we're gonna hopefully find a good spot just before we get to the car. Right, guys, we have got camp set up. Uh, got my setup right here. Of course, y'all seen it plenty of times. Except I did bring the uh, down throw to put in between my hammock and my synthetic underquilt from DD Hammocks. But uh, we've got the fire set up, about ready to go. Roach and uh, Josh done most of the work while I was diddling around. Or the, that's what Josh was telling me yeah, anyway. He put longer on his setup while we did the work. He was putting on, <laughs> like, putting on a show there. He's putting on his makeup for his video. Look what a great job. This is going to be an upside down fire, so that's going to burn for quite a while. Let's look at their setup. This is Josh's setup over here. He's got, what what kind of tarp is this? I like that. The Hennessy Monsoon. That's nice. Closes in on both sides. So you, so you closing it in tonight? Oh yeah, yeah. Got bungees. Gonna pull them out. Oh wow. Oh okay, you fold it in right here. Yeah. Oh. Velcro's on right here. Are you going to bungee this side down? I'm not. You're just going to let it hang there? If I did, I'd do it to the tree. But, uh, yeah. I like that. And then, uh, you check them all over. Oh. What is that? This is my shepherd hook. Oh. I'm messing this, uh, setup up. Uh-oh. Not like that. Take it like this. Take it like this. Nice. Not 
I'll, I'll usually have them preset. But the problem is when you preset them, Scott, you lose them. You lose them. I've lost one in the backyard doing that. <laughs> but that's why I always clear out the leaves first. Yeah. That way it's easier to know, hey, it's somewhere around here. And then the orange is They just pack it down like that. That is sweet. Did you, did you set this one up too? No, not yet. That's the in and out. When I go in, oh, okay. I'll throw it shut. <laughs> and look at that. What kind of undercoat is that? It's a minute here, 20 degrees. Oh, that's... Using a That's going to be nice. Using a Dutch half wit and a 20 degree econ. Wow. I like that. Oh, so you have two 20s? And it's 10 and a half foot long, but with this tarp, I needed to shorten it. So I shortened it down to about nine and a half. Oh, with just some mule tape. With mule tape, yeah. And then right. with my and then other you use tarp. the Beckett hitch. But I didn't undo this because when I want to use my other tarp, yeah, I just take this out and good get idea. My back. That's a good idea. And uh, we got Roach. Where are we? He said he wanted to tidy up first. He want to show his messy cue. Yeah. I didn't know company was coming. <laughs> Look, he's got a mess in here. <laughs> That is nice. I like the way this uh, rain fly comes over here. Oh yeah, th this is the uh, the over cover for the Hennessy Super Shelter. That's so nice. Hey, what I have is a two two Q Z Q underfill protector. So I bring my Super Shelter. With me. So it's sort of it's sort of a. Uh, uh, oh, your underquilt's down there. I yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. There's the other quilt. And then he so he Leave put a, a mylar in there. Yeah. Yeah, Good it worked idea. with a super shelter, so yeah. we'll probably be close to 10. So I think I go for it. That's nice. Is this, the, is this a Hennessy yeah, yeah, tarp, this is, this is their stock tarp for their 1130. Dutch, Dutch gear? Uh, I guess, is that what that is? No, no, that's actually a... You probably, you, you probably get it from... Oh, you got a buckle there. Yeah, that's just a, a plain cinch buckle. Man, five, so I six. took off the Hennessy rope and I just did a continuous loop to a, uh, a, a plain cinch buckle. Okay. Yeah. Because I, I went through the whoopee stage, you know. And I'm old. I need I need quick and easy. Okay, I have changed up my whoopee slings on my hammock. Let me take you over there and show you that because I don't I didn't show you that last time since I've done this. So we'll walk over there and see that. All right, guys. Here is my whoopee slings, and you can't hardly see it because I've already got it set up. But I've got the whoopee sling coming all the way through the hammock here now, and it just comes up. Let me show you the other end because you can see it a little bit easier, I think. You know, see it? It goes all the way through the hammock, comes up here, and then I'll use a carabiner and use half of a, a hammock strap for the tree hugger. That way, I'm not carrying but one hammock strap. The only thing is, this bigger tree over here, <laughs> I almost didn't have enough room, so I had to put a, uh, the carabiner around two of the loops. But uh, that's my whoopee slings that John made me. It's going to be cold tonight. It's supposed to get down somewhere between 10 and 17, maybe. So I don't know. Let's look and see what the temperature is now. 22, maybe. It looks about like 22. So it's already 22 degrees. All right, guys. I had to show you Josh's meal right here. Does that not look good? That is ramen noodles and chef boyardee. Is that right? Hamburger helper. Hamburger helper. Taco comes with the Fritos, and I just put some ghee in it to help them make that cheesy flavor get a little better because it says to add milk or butter on the trail. It's not feasible to add milk or ghee. Uh, you don't have to have it refrigerated, so it works perfectly in that type of meal. I'm going to have to try that sometime. And, of course, he's got the Starbucks coffee. And he shared one with me. I'm eating the other half of my Subway. 
And then later I'm gonna eat some mashed potatoes, uh, summer sausage, and cheese. It's gonna warm the subway up on the fire. <laughs> yeah. I think Roach is gonna heat up his summer sausage on the fire. <laughs> My summer sausage is uh, a little bit smaller than his. He's gonna leave the plastic on it too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we started the fire at six o'clock. We may have to check back and see how long it burns. That's what you call a good fire. Telling you, we started this fire at six. Remember, it is now 7:44. <laughs> this thing is hot. It is throwing out some heat. It's like what? What the temperature? It's 17. Uh, I, or just, I just checked again. It, it's 19. 19 degrees. Uh, we're, we're shedding. And we're here. yeah, we're over here having to take clothes off. This this is the best way to make a fire. Definitely. It, it's what time? It is 8.30. I had to take off my hat, my gloves. I had to unzip my down, my jacket, and I am uncomfortably hot. Because of this fire? Because of that fire. In 19 degree weather. In 19 wow. degree weather. I even took off my hat. You, you, you feel your shins? You don't realize how hot your pants yeah, are yeah. because yeah. your long johns, like you said, are insulating you from the heat. Those things are hot. And, and, and the best part, though, the best part, the place we thought we were going to camp tonight didn't turn out well. It, it just wasn't hammock friendly and all that. So we're like, ah, what we're going to do? We were worried about being stuck at some place on a ridge. It was crappy. We get up here. We found this little spot. We came in. We're set up. We're cooking. We found home sweet home. Turned out great. Yeah, it did. It did. Well, morning, guys. We made it through the night. It got down to like 10 degrees last night. Uh, I stayed comfortably cozy and warm. I actually had to peel off my gator neck and all my toboggans, headgear and everything because I was getting a little too hot in there. And that was like, I don't know, five, six in the morning when it was the coldest. And then uh, we buried the water in the leaves and it kept her, it, it still had ice in it, but it kept it uh, so it wasn't frozen all the way through. So we still got water. I'm boiling some up right now. And I'm gonna pour some of it back into my water bottle to thaw out the rest of that. Uh, it's so cold, I use the heat alcohol for my alcohol stove and I couldn't get that stuff to light. I had to light it with one of these storm matches. It wasn't light with the lighter. And uh, Roach is using the denatured alcohol and he had no problem with his, so I think I'm gonna switch over to denatured alcohol. His lit right up and his was out in the cold all night too. All right guys, we have actually already been on the trail and we've made it back to the car. Uh, Roach is still getting his stuff packed away, put in the back of the car. Josh is uh, putting on lipstick. No, <laughs> Josh is uh, getting ready to go too. Josh. For the record. <laughs> lipstick. Well, it's, it's good to meet you finally. And yeah, it's a pleasure to meet you. I enjoyed it. Yeah, Had a great time. We survived the cold weather and the creek crossings. What, it got to 11 degrees? 10 degrees 10 last degrees. night. And it does show Crandall, Georgia on the thing. This morning it did. Yesterday it was showing uh, Cisco, Georgia. Cisco, Georgia. Yeah. So guys, we are going to end the video here. We're about to jump the car and take off. Until next time, this is Saline saying stay salty. So I get home, huh, and I have deja vu.